Hey everybody, Arthur here with another Vintage Toy Review. Today we got Toxic Crusaders and the main man from Toxic Avengers, Toxie. This guy is amazing and gross at the same time. And who would have thought we would have got a radioactive monstrosity that was part of a live action gore fest film into a kid show. But we did. I mean, technically him and his little gross friends were like the new Captain Planet and the Planeteers. But we ended up getting this guy, and I love it. I love the whole wave of these guys that can work with your Ninja Turtles. And as a kid growing up, gross toys and were, were just in. Like, those were the things that kids loved. You could go down to Toys R Us Isle and find yourself Creepy Crawlers, Mad Labs. You can go to Ninja Turtles and buy yourself a can of slime that had a baby turtle in it. That stuff just doesn't exist anymore. I mean, kids playing with toys is starting to fade away, unfortunately, and it's it, it's sad. You know, kids are face first in these games and tablets, and it's like, I want to see kids playing with toys again. I want to go down an aisle of toys and see these gross guys and, and fun toys, and just, that's what I want to see. I want to see kids, you know, playing with their G.I. Joes and action figures and sandboxes, getting them lost in tall grass, and then you run them over with a lawnmower. I mean... That's what being a kid's all about, not playing video games. I mean, video games were good growing up as I hit a certain age, but like, I have so many good memories of playing with toys, and I feel like a lot of kids are missing out on those memories, you know, putting up barriers and having your sibling on the other side with their action figures, you're on your side with your action figures, and then you just have this war of toys, and it's, you know, those are just great memories, and, uh, uh, enough of that little rant there. You know, I could go on and on. But we're here to look at this toy. Now, Toxie, he came with a bunch of cool accessories. And, and it's weird because he only really needed one thing, and that was his mop. But they decided to just load him up with a bunch of stuff. So I'll start with the weakest accessory. And as you can see, it's weak because it's, it's just a belt. It's got some cool notches. You got the buckle there. It's got some sculpted in detail. And uh, I can't really... Be angry about that. Got a little holster for something to peg for something, which I think I know what they're for. So, really cool stuff there. And these notches come in handy because he comes with a trifecta of toxic waste barrel grenades. And just to sort of give you an example, of what these guys look like, and it has some sort of logo. I really can't see it. I don't know if the light's picking it up. I, I, that might be where the pin is. Can't really tell, but they are little toxic waste barrels, and they're gross looking. They're made out of this like orange plastic. As I hit the camera, um, but they just clip in these little notches, and I love the notches. At first, I was like, "Man, this is sort of dumb," you know, but they work. You know, they make him have a bandolier of toxic waste barrel grenades, and the great thing about it is the fact that. They won't slide up and down. They actually hook into place. So they move a little bit, but not they're not going to slide, which is great. So set that down here. Then he comes with the Toxic Crusaders logo in a shield. Just this gloopy, looks like maybe it could have been a manhole cover. Uh, and then it has like a pipe attached to it. So it could be something of that nature, but it has this gross, gloopy Toxic Crusader logo. And it's awesome. Because it's just like, right there, that is the logo, hands down, accurate as all can be. And it's a sticker, you know, and the sticker's actually in really great condition. But you gotta have a shield. Then, he comes with his trusty mop. And uh, it's a little bit warped here. Um, again, from somebody storing it. So you got to heat it up and stuff. But it has like the wood grain sculpted into it. It has a sticker. This sticker actually came on it. It's American flag. Uh, maybe it didn't come on it. Maybe you had to put it on it. But either way, this is supposed to be here. Uh, he is, you know, representing America with this flag. It looks a little gross because it's just a worn out old sticker. Uh, but I love the mop. It's iconic. It has little splatters of radioactive. I think that actually glows in the dark gloop. Now, one thing. This is oh, that was that was that was scary. I almost thought I was gonna take out all these figures to the to the left of me. But this has a little plunger. So what you do 
is back in the day, we, as I said, we were kids that had slime. We had slime everywhere. You know, if we didn't get out of a vending machine, we could probably find a corner of our bedroom and there's like a gloop of slime. And we'd be like, when did I buy this? But either way, you just scoop up that gloop, put it inside, and then you'd use this plunger and you'd push it out. And the slower you push it, it just glooped out of it and just made it all radioactive and slime and gross. And that was a really cool thing. You know, as a kid to have that, action feature like that that wasn't a spring-loaded missile that launched it was great then you know everybody else had these iconic glowy accessories and stuff like his eye i'm pretty sure glows in the dark his 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 lazy eye i don't know which one's lazy which one's the good but either way that eye it, you i think glows in the dark but he also came with his pet now this is not in the live action film this is Blobby, and when he got tossed into the vat of toxic radioactive trauma waste, Tromaville waste to be exact, uh, this was his mop head, and it actually came to life and became a little creature. Reminds me of a lot of critters, but I really like it. Like the sculpt work in this is very awesome. It's got the teeth, the tongue, hang tongue hanging out, and it's all a little moppy, fuzzy, and it's awesome. And I'm glad that they gave him. Uh, his little pet now what's cool about everything is he can really hold everything which i'll gear him up in a bit but one thing i thought was cool besides the grenades can stay there you have this holster the holster itself can actually hold the shield if you want to put the shield on there or it can even take the mop so you can actually have the mop stored in the back i thought that was a really cool thing and then i saw this peg and i'm like why is there a peg well he has a hole so you stick the peg in the hole and you can actually have him like on his shoulder. Now that is such a really cool thing to do. So having a way to just store all the accessories and everything is, is a great thing because nowadays we get so many accessories with some figures and we, they don't have places to hold them. So let's dive into the figure itself. Now this guy, he is a little defective, but I'm okay with it. Um, his head gets full left and right, but he has a little bit of articulation because whatever is in here, you can sort of see the peg right there. Whatever inside must have broke because he's not supposed to have like, you know, this attitude motion, but I'm okay with it. So he gets full 360 um, head motion. Um, he has a very, very lazy eye. And I don't know if that's the lazy eye or if that's the lazy eye, but either way, he's a, he's a mess. He is a mess, and he has all this neon orange outfit. He's got these nasty boils, and like someone with these little things, they look like they're ready to burst. Um, they missed some green right there. But just like in this sort of outfit, I guess it's, it's a little bit frilly here. Um, he's supposed to be technically in a tutu, but this does not look like a pink tutu to me. Um, I mean, it has the sculpting in details like it could be the tutu part. Maybe it's the tutu part after it gets destroyed. Then he has a sticker of the planet. That sort of peels up a little bit on the edge, but it's still pretty clean. And uh, he has like his little textured spanks on that he'd be wearing. And it's just, it's crazy. Um, and he has the like Ninja Turtle articulation. So his arms can go fully around. Um, he has like the like forearm rotation on both sides. And he has like a sweatband. You know, he's really working out. And then I don't even know what that is. A string of some sort. But again, full of bumps and grossness. And then he has like the little splatter. I love just like the splatter effect. You know, that they add on this. And these are all like super glowy neon splatters. But you can see that texture. And again, just the, the love that we got in these figures. Back in the 80s and 90s, I just feel like artists had a lot more freedom with their design choices. And their input. I mean, look at that. Look at that nasty. I don't even know if that's a toe or something just glooping out of his out of his shoe. You know? It's like wearing like these neon orange work boots with stuff wrapped around them. But let me go ahead and gear this guy up so we can take a closer look at him. So Toxie all geared up, ready for battle with Blobby on his shoulder. And this this just looks awesome. Straight up Toxie. Saving America from toxic and pollution. And I mean, you could def definitely have his shield in his hand, but I just sort of equipped it on the back in case somebody tries to 
jump him from behind or attack him from behind. He has like a little turtle shell shield in a sense to protect his little hunchback. But this is an amazing figure. But what even makes it more is it's blacklight reactive. And I got to show you guys. So here we got Toxie and his one eye glowing with a little bit of a gloop on his mop and blobby glowing. But when you bust out the black light, you really get to see the true potential that this figure brings. Look at that glow. And I mean, it glows so, so well. Tell me that is not an amazing look. Like, everything is glowing. And then when you turn it off, it keeps on glowing. Then when you match him up with his arch enemy bonehead, I did the review of them already but they glow together very well and the bonehead one i didn't show off the glow as well so i wanted to actually for you guys to really see it so i mean that is some crazy glowing right there like look at all the that's this is awesome blacklight reactive figures <laughs> are super cool So that sums up my vintage toy review of Toxie from Toxic Crusaders. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more as I'm always going to be pumping out content. And it's all over the place with the types of toys that I end up picking up. Also, don't forget to check out Toyco, Toys and Collectibles. Both Facebook groups are down below. One is the community. Interact with fellow collectors. Share off your collection. Talk figures. I mean, who else out there enjoys Toxic Crusader figures? Who else has had these as a kid? Comment down below. I mean, and also join that group. Then you can interact with other collectors that have very similar taste. If not, they can introduce you to figures that you've never maybe heard of. Like, I've introduced tons of people to grocery gangs. So definitely check out that community down below. Also join up with the pre-order group so you're in the know with collectibles. So you know what's coming out. And you also get amazing pre-order prices. And that's what it's all about, saving that money so you can buy more collectibles. I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting. Have a beautiful day.